Hey, Henrik, uh, obviously, um, when the season paused, there was a, a lot of um, different emotions you were going through. You've had this time to reflect, and now your competitiveness, obviously, we all know how much you want to compete. You know, do you take solace in maybe that this pause has given you the opportunity to maybe rewrite an ending that may have changed, might, might have went differently had it not been a pause? Um. Well, I can say going back to Sweden during this break, uh, I had an opportunity I was to spend a lot of time with my family and for some of my friends and, and uh, uh, also gave me an opportunity to, you know, work on my game a little bit, technically, physically and mentally. Uh, I feel like coming back now, uh, I'm, I'm in a really good place in all three areas there. Uh, so I, I feel very excited to start the camp and, and uh, obviously we're three guys competing for one spot. Uh, so we'll see uh, who gets to play. But um, I'm, not, I'm not looking too far. I'm just, I'm, I'm taking it week by week, by week right now. And, and again, the, the three things I, I try to control and can control physical, technical, mental. Uh, I feel like I'm well prepared there. And, and um, yeah, I'm just going to give it my all here during camp and we'll see what happens. Hi, Henrik. Um, I, I asked this question of, of Mika as well. Was there ever any doubt in your mind that you would want to come back um, in terms of the danger with the virus and all that kind of thing? I mean, did you, you know, there are, there are guys who have opted out. Um, did, did you ever consider, you know, weighing the possibility of whether, whether it might make sense for you to come back? Um, no, I think uh, the big question was just, uh, are we as a league um, going to put in the work to try to make it happen? But once that decision was made that we're going to make an effort, I, I think we all knew uh, that everything has been looked at, um, the way we prepared, the way we train. Um, you know, I must say it's pretty impressive to come back and see all the things that uh, the Rangers as an organization are looking at to make sure we're, we're in a good environment here. So that was never a question for me. It was more of, is it possible as a league? There's a lot that goes into this whole uh, operation uh, so many teams so many people but so far you know they're doing everything they can to to help us uh, prepare and, and to play so uh, as expected you know we, we come back here and, and um, everything is in order so that was never a question for me it was more overall if you asked me a month ago or a month and a half ago is this really going to happen and there's so many different scenarios you see now, uh, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, looking at Sweden, uh, you know, we've been able to live a pretty, pretty normal life. You could tell something's going on, there's a little less people out, but it's just a different approach, a different, you know, I've been able to skate for, for a couple months. Um, and then um, in a place like New York, obviously got hit pretty hard. It's been a different story, uh, but now it looks like we're moving in the right direction, which is a good thing here in New York. But then yeah, you see in other parts of the country, uh, different story. So um, that was, I guess, the big question <laughs> to answer your question a couple months ago or a month ago, is it gonna be possible? But now all the efforts that have been made are pretty impressive. Henrik, uh, playing off Mark's question a little bit, um, going into the pause, just looking at playing time, it didn't look like, you know, the three, you were on equal footing. Obviously, you were playing a lot less. This is a restart. Is it a fresh start? Do you feel you come back on equal footing as Georgiev and Shesterkin, and it's just a two-week ramp up and whoever's playing best plays? Um, well, it is a restart. I don't think anybody's been through this before. Uh, I look at it as back to that answer, controlling what I can't control. 
uh, I feel really good. I'm excited to be back and I've been training well and mentally I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm well prepared. So um, we just have to wait and see. Um, but you, you got to enjoy it at the same time to be here with, with, with the guys. Um, you know, it's going to be different, obviously, to play without the fans. I think that that is a big part of playing in the playoffs, the atmosphere. So it, it will be a very unique experience for all of us. But personally, I, I, um, I just take it day by day here and, and uh, work as hard as I can. And, and, and we'll see if it's enough to play. And uh, if it's not enough to play, I'll try to be very supportive and, and uh, just go from there. Henrik, I remember back during the lockout of 2012 and speaking to you and the uncertainty of when, um, if and when camp was going to reopen and, and when the season was going to start and how that um, gave uh, some difficulties in your training regimen. You mentioned that you had the opportunity to skate when you were in Sweden. How did this as well, how did you handle that uncertainty and, and, and how did that factor into the amount of time you were spending on ice and training? Yeah, I think if, if you asked me in April, I didn't think we were going to play this summer, uh, just the way things were looking. But it didn't change the fact that I was going to the rink three to four times a week and skating because I love the game. And I had an opportunity to skate with my brother. Um, and I just enjoyed the training. And uh, I wanted to, to stay in shape. I wanted to be ready in case we do go back. Uh, and then as we got closer, you know, you start to think about, okay, it might be a possibility to go back to play. So you intensify that training. But for, for, for a lot of the time, I just took it as part of my, my routine back home, you know, spend time with family, go to the rink, skate a little bit, enjoy it, have fun. I think that's my, um, one of my main approaches right now is just to enjoy it and, and do have fun and, and um, you know, Again, I, I still love the game, so it was not hard to to take that time to go to the rink and, and, and to compete with some of the players that, I guess, felt the same way back home. In, in this sort of restart where you are in a, a best of five and then you move on and, and four rounds after that, you guys were in a rebuild, but now you're in the mix. What is the mindset going forward in terms of what what you guys feel as a team the possibilities are for the Rangers? I think we, there shouldn't be any limits in how we look at ourselves and what we can accomplish. At the same time, we should stay humble to, you know, when you look at this challenge, uh, you can lose the first round, but you could also go all the way. And I think a lot of teams feel the same way, especially in this situation where We've been away from the game for so long. We're coming in to play in an environment where nobody's been in before. No fans, uh, that intensity that you, you, an energy that you feed off of a lot of times in, in these types of games, it's not going to be there. So it's going to be crucial for, for every team to, you know, find that spark and, and, and commitment in every situation. Because I think there's a lot of games where you might be a little tired and, and you have a little down. And then I think the fans factor can play a big part when you don't have that now. So uh, it's important that as a group, we come together and, and, and I think also mentally prepare for that. It will be very different, but also an opportunity to maybe try to accomplish something. here. So uh, no limits, you know, we, we can definitely do it. Um, but if we don't do it the right way and, and, and play our best, you know, it, it's, it's going to be a short one. So I, I think that's exciting too to feel. Um, there's some um, some possibilities. Here.